Which kind of future can you imagine? This one or this one? Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to help you understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! Today, we are going to talk about the 5 R's method of waste management. In this topic, we will discover the following. What are the two types of solid wastes? What is the 5 R's method of waste management? And how can we manage our solid wastes at home using 5 R's method? So, which kind of future can you imagine? A clean and prosperous one? Or a wasteland? Well, the second picture will most likely happen if we continue to generate solid waste and fail to deal with it properly. But solid wastes have two different types. Knowing the difference between them helps in managing them properly. So, we'll get to know about these two different types first. First is the biodegradable waste. These waste materials can decay and be composted. Examples of biodegradable materials are leftovers, vegetable cuttings, and fruit peelings. Second is the non-biodegradable waste. These waste materials do not decay or take a very long time to decay. Examples of non-biodegradable materials are plastics and metals. Non-biodegradable can be categorized into the following. Recyclables like plastics, residual materials like rubber and textile, which can be sent to material recovery facilities, and hazardous waste like hospital and factory waste. These need to be disposed carefully and properly away from residential areas. This is because it can contaminate the soil as well as water. That is why we do not simply dispose of waste materials in just one trash bin. Practicing waste management at home while you are young is the best course of action to keep our environment clean. You can do this through the 5 R's method. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. First is reduce. It means to lessen the amount of garbage produced. You can reduce by using an echo bag when going to the grocery instead of availing plastic bags provided. Using metal straws, spoon, and fork instead of availing the plastic utensils from fast food restaurants. And bringing your own water container instead of buying water every now and then. Second R is reuse. It means using the materials again for a different purpose. You can do this by reusing plastic bottles and containers for your drink and food storage. But be careful! You can only reuse for a number of times depending on what is indicated in the label. If it exceeds the limit of reusing, you can still reuse to our next method, which is third R, recycle. It means creating new products out of waste materials. Get ready to be creative! What can you create out of plastic spoons? Hmm, 
Maybe a flower design po. How about with water bottles? It can be a flower pot like this. How about with plastic straws? Ooh, maybe a star lantern or parol. In this way, you were able to reuse wastes by creating something out of them. Fourth R is recover. It means getting back or converting waste to another form of raw material that can be used by product manufacturers. If you cannot reduce, reuse, and recycle at home, just dispose of your waste properly and make sure that it goes to a material recovery facility. This facility will sort out glass, paper, bottles, food wastes into products such as fertilizers and biofuels from food wastes and newly shaped glass bottles for food containers. The final R is repair. It means restoring or replacing a broken part of a material. If you have torn and old clothes, broken chairs, and scratch papers, it doesn't mean that you will have to buy new ones. Again, it's time to be creative. Torn clothes can be sewn. If your shirt and jeans have holes in them, you can sew patches on them. This will cover the holes and serve as a design on your clothing. Check if the other side of your scratch paper is clean. You can still assemble them into a notebook. Broken chairs can be repaired or converted to a table stand. Try searching for do-it-yourself craft ideas on the internet. Practice this method and surely, our future will be like this. Let's have a short exercise about the five R's. Ready? Let's go! What method are you practicing when you lessen the amount of your garbage at home? What method are you going to do if you want to use again a box as a container for your papers. What method are you practicing when you create a lantern decoration out of plastic spoons? You want to dispose of some glass bottles because you cannot use it anymore. What method are you going to do if you want to bring the glass bottles to a recovery facility? What method are you using when you are restoring or replacing a broken part of a material? So, practice 5 hours and invite your friends and family to join you in this mission to keep the environment healthy. If we encourage all people to do the same, our future will most likely look like this. I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. I am Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye, everyone!